Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. <clears throat> so if you've got a Chevy vehicle and all of a sudden your door locks are going crazy and your gauges are going crazy, the, the speedometer and tachometer are just bouncing all over the place, headlights are acting funny, only one will turn on. Uh, well, it's daytime running headlights. I guess I actually never tried turning the headlight switch on itself to see if they would come on, but on the daylight um, running, only one would come on. All kinds of goofy things can happen. And there is a very common problem with the Chevys. And we're talking, um, oh, vehicles started, I think the oldest one I've ever ran across this problem so far. I'm not saying there's older ones that could have it. I think it was like a 2005, somewhere in 2006, that I ran into this problem. And um, I've also ran into it a few other times. And out of all of them, there was only one time it was a, it was something besides what I'm going to tell you what the problem is. And I'll, I'll tell you that one first. It was the ignition. You know, where you put your key in to turn it to start the vehicle. It was uh, glitching out in there, not making good contact. And, well, it was junk. And that's what the problem was on that particular vehicle. All the other ones I ran into, and the last one actually was a 2007 uh, Chevy Equinox that uh, I ran into this problem. It was actually my dad's vehicle, and it was the same thing. And you're not going to believe how easy this is to fix. I mean, some people bring these into the dealers, and they don't even know what's wrong. And that's what's really funny. I mean, this isn't something that's, you know, like very isolated and hardly ever happens. It's actually started popping up and happening more and more. And even some of the dealers and places don't even know what it is, but it's super simple. It's, uh, well, they kind of went cheapo on the battery cables. And we're not talking the actual cable wire itself. I'm talking the ends, the connectors. It's just a crimp on. And what happens, they get corroded between the wire and the connector. And they get corroded and they don't make good contact. And this, a majority of the time, is what causes the problems. No, I have ran across where it's just the door locks going crazy. That sometimes can be the, uh, the door lock switch itself, short and out, not working right. But if your door locks are going crazy, your gauges do goofy things, uh, your headlights are doing goofy things, this is most likely what's wrong. So the easiest way <coughs> to fix this, and this is the cheapest way to start, um, we're talking like $10 to do this, this quick fix if this is what is truly wrong. Like I said, it could be your ignition, and there are other things that actually could be wrong. But this is a very cheap, like $10 try, and it's something most people can do themselves. Just take the cables, remove the ends. Uh, you want to remove the, the battery cable ends on both sides. Don't just do one. It could be corroded and messed up on either side. And I would do the positive and negative. I would just replace them all. Like I said, you're talking like 10 bucks. It's probably going to take an hour. You know, and that's somebody that really doesn't know what they're doing. Maybe two hours if you really don't know what you're doing. For me, um, I, I could probably do it in about 15, 20 minutes. Now, <clears throat> your most common replacement terminal for the battery in is going to be a bolt-on. Uh, but I do recommend having solder them. Um, it's going to eliminate this problem from happening again. And that's what the problem is. These The battery connectors on these Chevys, they're just crimped on. They don't solder them. And they get corroded in there. That's that green stuff that you see on copper, the corrosion. That's what happens. And they don't, they're not making good contact. And a quick way to test for this is if the vehicle's acting up, if you can actually jump out quick and get your hood open while it's still doing it and start playing with your battery cables, and you notice it 
just quits the second you grab one and twist on it, it's guaranteed that's what the problem is then. So now, uh, <laughs> like I was getting into, I do recommend soldering them on if possible. If you don't have um, the availability to do that, you can get the crimp on. Um, well, actually, it's a bolt-on connector for the battery end of it. You're, uh, you can get crimp-ons for the, uh, the positive where it goes to the starter, then it goes to your uh, engine block, usually on the negative. But uh, I would recommend getting solderable cables. And if you had the money and you don't know how to solder, just take your cables off, bring them to the parts store, and they can get you something about that same length that will already be made up and hopefully not just crimped on. All right, well, <laughs> I wanted to share that information with you today because this is a problem that I've ran across multiple times. And like I was saying, there's a lot of people that don't know what it is. Um, they'll go to the dealer and they'll start just replacing stuff and charge you. And it starts doing it again. They're like, well, it ain't our problem. You paid us, so take a hike, basically, is what they're going to tell you. This is a good, easy, cheap way to start. And if you are mechanically inclined at all, we're talking you could like 10 bucks, like I was saying. Otherwise, if you have to replace the whole cables, get ones that are already pre-made, you are talking more money. But it's still going to probably be cheaper to try this than to go into the dealership. You, you know how that can be. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, <laughs> if you do try doing any of this, um, well, I'll have a disclaimer to be in the video, but I still got to say one in the video. If you do try doing any of uh, these repairs yourself, do so at your own risk. The Z-Hut is not liable in any way, shape, form, or how. This uh, video is for informative and educational purposes and entertainment. If you decide to do this, do so at your own risk. We're not liable. All right, with that, thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. And remember, have fun fixing your stuff.